hey guys welcome back to another video so today i'm showing you guys how to do these crack french nails they came out so so pretty and i just wanted to show you guys how i did them so first thing first i'm going to my tips from my website carabitty.com um go check them out they're really good quality and they give you the perfect tapered square look without even having to buy so much like you really just have to go on a size and you're good to go but um also too because somebody asked me what nail glue do i use i just use k um kds glue it dry really fast and i work fast so i like to use that glue but if you still are a beginner i would recommend uh, um not such a strong glue Okay guys, so this is a little hack for my nail girlies. I will go in, I just cut out um, a hole in one of the forms I have, just to um, measure it. And I'll just, for long length, she had one it. I go a little bit slightly under the four and I just use that for um, every single one of the nail tips. I just slide it right under there and it gives you the perfect length and they're the same exact size. It's kind of similar to the magnet trick with the nail tip cutter. Um, it just gives you the perfect length and they're all the exact same size without having to measure and hold up fingers and waste more time this gives you you know saves you more time when doing clients and of course when you're a nail tech you want to try and get as many clients so you can get your monies and that's a really good way to do it this is the um primer and dehydrator i'm going in with i like to switch between this system and me a secret system they both work beautifully and they have my clients nails on for months well i mean like a month and some change <laughs> so yeah and as you can see um you don't have to go in with a lot but also be generous and make sure you're covering the whole entire nail bed. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with my application. I only show one fingernail because I mainly wanted to show the design in this tutorial. But um, I mixed this pink away while back and all I did was mix in some pink acrylic, um, white and clear. And then um, I kept just adding, you know, until I really got this color that I needed. But this is a great, great, great pink to go under for this design. And I would absolutely recommend you mix you up a little bit if you choose to recreate this design.
Now, um, I'm just going in with my 8080 grit file to file the sides. Like I said, you only really gotta go under. And then after, I do a little fly over top in case my application was a little bit bumpy, but I kinda have got it down packed now that it's pretty smooth. But you know, when you, anytime that you do any acrylic application, and especially when you're going over gel with it, it will show, so make sure you just smooth it all out. And of course, hit them edges too, and then yeah, and I just got these buffers off, actually off of Shein, and they were super, super cheap, and I just typed in buffers, so yeah, I would definitely head over to Shein if you need some nail buffers. <laughs> So I literally forgot to show which color this is, but this is just I, on Amazon. I have found this Beatles gel polish. Now all I did was search a pop pink um, gel polish, and it popped up, and it was about like six, seven dollars. And as you can see, it's really pigmented. Only used one coat because I feel like it got the job done. But if you personally feel like you need another coat, definitely go in with another coat. I mean, make sure you keep it super thin so your coats don't bubble up and um don't cure all the way through and then two days later your client is texting like oh my polish is coming up and that's gonna be why because you put it on too thick and it's peeling up now i also want to pop in here and mention these are the um metalones um nail brushes and i just like to use the orange one because this one is the longest one and i like to use this brush for my french tips as you can see because the way it curves it gives me just the perfect french tip shape <laughs>
heck that gel polish you want to go in with the top coat and cure that you want to go in with a dotting tool i prefer but um anything that you could really just create some circles with to get that crocodile quote quote um effect and when you're doing the middle ones make sure you make these ones bigger than the outside ones because you want to give it like that effect that they're um like 3d ish and then when you go in with the ones on the side make sure they fall in between um the ones that you did in the middle i don't know if that makes sense but make sure they're not completely in a straight line like they're a little bit off if that makes sense they'll make it like super perfect okay now guys i'm going in with some pink acrylic powder powder that I'm going to be sprinkling over the wet gel. So after you put the dots on, do not cure the nail because it will not stick. I repeat, do not cure it. You wanna just put it on there and sprinkle it. That's it, that's all. I accidentally bumped one right here so I had to go back and fix it. But make sure that you do not, do not cure it because the acrylic powder will not stick right and it will not give you the 3D effect that you want. Also, something else I've got to mention make sure you guys do not um, just tap it don't wipe it off yet not until you go in and cure it because um, you'll just literally wipe off your entire design because remember this is the gel polish is not cured so you just will literally wipe the whole entire thing off and all your hard work will go to waste Okay, so now guys, as I said, after you cure it, now you dust it off. And after you do that, you're just going to um, add any gemstones how you saw I'm going to do right now. I just went ahead and added some charms. And the way I did that was I just put, um, well, I first roughened up the part I knew I was. Like I removed the top coat just to give it a better stick. And then um, I just went in with a dot of acrylic and my charm and I just stuck it right there. And I've got, had clients come back. Um, after weeks and their charms are still on because I just adhered it right there with a little small dot of clear acrylic. So make sure that you go into with your little brush and just put like small dots of acrylic to just surround it and give it even more protection and ensure that it's not just gonna pop off after one or two days.
Yeah.